uh, we're gonna call this, uh, day three. Cause, uh, I guess I've kind of not videoed in a couple of days. I think it's three. Are you video logging again? What, are, what experiment are you doing this time? I need to figure out the source of that tapping sound. I think it's paranormal in nature. <laughs> Alright, there's a tapping sound? Yeah, you heard it, remember? No. The other night! I heard Fiddleford scuttling around upstairs. Alright, let's listen for your tapping sound. <laughs> I hear a fly. I hear a fly as well. The fly is throwing me off. I, I, oh, there it is. There's the fly. That's it. Alright, well, I gotta go to class anyway, so... Well, I guess I'll return to this in a little bit. Alright. After I get the fly. Later. Bye. Back. I've decided that I'm going to try and communicate with the spirit. Get my fly sweater here, just in case. Okay. Spirit, if you're there, could you give me a tapping sound? If you, if you can hear me, just tap on something. I don't even hear the fly anymore. Did you get rid of the fly? Alright, so I constructed this spirit board and we're gonna try and communicate this way. Can you hear me? I'm sure, we'll just go towards the hell. Hey, I'm back. I fell asleep in class today. What? What is that? Uh, what I'm is trying that? to. What the fuck? No, 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 no. no. I'm just. What the Oh my god! God! You need to burn all this! Richard, what what was that all about? Be right back. Hey. What was that all about? What was what all about? What was Ricky, what? Why did you rip this all up? That's I was trying how to you get demons in your life. Well, I'm trying to talk to a ghost. There's no such thing as ghost. But you sure as fuck gonna get a demon by doing that. N no ghosts, but d there are demons? Yes. Do you know how stupid that sounds? Uh, no, because there's... You are gonna fall into a demon's trap one day. I'm sorry. You will. I bet you think you guys are best friends. Next thing you know, you're <laughs> suffering. Friends with a demon? Yeah. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna go. Ugh, can't reach the lamp. Ricky, do you hear that? Hey. What? Do you hear that? I'm trying to get my glasses on. Oh, I don't hear anything. What? There's a tapping sound. Um, I guess I kind of hear something. I mean, I'm like deaf in one ear, so. How are you deaf in well, one like ear? I'm like half deaf in one ear. My eardrum ruptured once. It's just a long, devastating story. It's probably the pipes, man. It's probably getting hot. Like, Philford's probably taking a super hot shower and all the pipes are warming up and they're going tick, 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 tick. Gonna keep it on just in case. Go oh, turn the light off. This is stupid. Oh, okay. So overnight we kept hearing it. Oh, I don't think it's pipes. So 
hard to juggle a camera. And... He can sleep there or anything. Except he was scared, that's why he's over here. Obvi obviously. Obviously that's why he's over here. I'm gonna go. I went grabbed a lot of information regarding a bunch of deaths here. That's someone's insurance anyway. Yeah, we don't want that. This kid died jumping off the roof? Fell off the roof? I'm hoping that going through this I might find a key into figuring out who was the actual ghost. Because, I mean, pretty clueless at this point. This student died from bed bugs. That's not how they advertise this place. Ooh, graphic! A janitor locked in the freezer, frozen to death. Someone's a really vengeful spirit. Absolutely. Just gotta let the spirit of Mother Earth come through you, you know? <laughs> right. It's like I can feel the spirit everywhere in here. So you think there is one? Oh, I know there is one. And I can tell you the story. I'd like to hear it. The story, you, you you aren't gonna find it anyway. They don't want this story on record. It's a traumatic story. I heard it firsthand from an intelligence specialist, FBI. Uh huh. Really? They don't want these secrets out. These paranormal secrets. I should just start the story at the beginning. Back way before this was a college, before we were in this dorm, there was a man who lived here in a little shack. He was a simple man, <clears throat> just enjoyed fishing. That's all he wanted to do with life, just fish, just catch catfish and eat him. That's what he did. Okay. his own vegetables, simple life. And then they made him go to war. World War One. He went to that war, blew his hands and feet off. No hands, oh, no feet, just stumps. Stumps here and here, stumps here. It's tragic, really. And came back bitter. He came back angry. And in place of his feet and hands, he wanted hooks. Not like little hooks. Clamp, clamp. No. Like hook hooks. Like meat hooks. That's what he got his name from. They call him Hooker from that point on. What you're dealing with is the spirit of Hooker. But the story don't end there, right? After he comes back from war, he continues fishing, but he doesn't fish the normal way no more, no. He lays there on the dock, 
He went out, fish comes by, all his anger and rage comes out. Hook! Hook! He hooks the fish. Hook! Hook with his feet! Hook it! Hook in the fish! Jeez. They say they didn't, he didn't even hate the fish no more. He just mutilated them in front of his little shack. He was full of rage. The town was afraid of him. And then one day they found him floating in the river. Dead. And they thought that was the end of it. But then they started seeing him. They started seeing him around his shack. They started seeing him in their windows. So what did they do? They burned down the shack. They built buildings over it, pretending it never happened. He's still here. He never left. And he's the only proof that the government has that paranormal exists and they don't want to tell us why because they don't want us to be scared. Now I'm telling you what you think. The government wants to harness supernatural power to use in war. And that's why you won't find the answers in those files. They're going to capture that ghost and use him and use his rage. Just like they did in World War I. That story. That's a lot of information to process. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah. Uh, figured I'd log the uh, information to discuss what I learned from that source. The ghost is a vengeful spirit that, uh, of a man who drowned after being deformed by the war. I mean, what? It, that would be very, uh... Oh my god. Why are you, why are you laughing? Because this is funny. Why is this funny? The man died and he's upset and he's killing people I've in his watch, wake. I've been watching your footage. So, that interview you did with Fiddleford. <laughs> How did you know it was... Never mind. That's all made up, dude. I made it up. The hooker story. I made it up. And I told Fiddleford the story when he was taking LSD for science. <laughs> he was dripping balls and I made up this whole story about this dude... Who got his, like, fucking arms and legs blown off, and now he's vengeful and he, like, mutilates fish and shit. <laughs> Ricky, this is not funny. I'm no more close to figuring it out. Yeah, you can't believe it. Stay me, still, there's that fly. He told you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> he still believes it, man. You have no idea how hilarious this is. I'm no closer to figuring out the source of the tapping sounds and who the ghost is. Maybe the source of the tapping sounds are warming up pipes because it's a super old building. That's and, what you, they want you to and believe. Maybe you're thinking you're seeing things because you want to see things. And maybe you're denying them because you don't want to believe in them. Well, I know they don't exist. If ghosts exist because they had a violent death, there would be ghosts everywhere. There are. Right? No, I've never seen a ghost my entire life. Have you? I mean, I thought I was hearing one. I for sure am hearing that fly again. Give me my fly spotter. Give it to me. Oh, sorry. Give me the fly spotter. Kill the... Give it to me. <laughs> there it is. Here's a book you need to read. The Mind? The Mind. Maybe you'll get some ideas of why you think you see ghosts. Where'd it go? I don't know. I swear to God, it's always above me, but never above me. <sighs> I guess I'm out for now. We'll figure it out later. It's not a ghost.
stop. I'm gonna whap you again. Do you see it, Ricky? No, the one I already kicked out of the air. Well, don't hit me. Oh, sorry. I'm glad you're filming this. They need to know how bad their the bugs are. The flies are situation. terrible. Yes. So they got rid rid of their bed bugs. There's sure, fucking flies sure. everywhere. You know, I'm, I'm, if everything that I learned may be bogus, but I'm telling you right now, someone did die from bed bug bites. <laughs> That's insane. That's serious business. <laughs> I think the fly left. It'll be back. I'm gonna leave this on today while I'm in here reading just to see if I can't pick up anything around me that's paranormal or odd. Or maybe even the flies. I'm going to class. Okay. I feel like shit, man. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's the ghost. It's probably because I drank so much last night. <laughs> see you later. See ya. I think I could smell the ghost. You know, like, whoo. Um, sometimes ghosts give off like a, uh, either like a. Some people de describe it as a lavender scent for like you know, friendlier spirits, women spirits, stuff like that. Some of them, they say it's gonna. Oh, jeez. They say it's kind of um, uh, foul, like uh, rotten meat, and that that's what I'm smelling. That's usually angry spirits. I'm gonna keep this on because I'm pretty sure it's here with me right now. It stinks so bad. Maybe that's why we have flies. I don't. I don't know. Whoa! Ugh. Whew! It was like right after Ricky left. Oh, I got dissipated, so that's good. I have to come home early, man. You won't believe I smelt the ghost. <laughs> what? I smelt the ghost. You know how they say sometimes ghosts have like a pugnant smell? Okay. Like rotten meat. It was like right after you left. This whole dorm room just reeked <laughs> to high heaven for no reason whatsoever besides obvious ghost. There is a real reason for it, Stanford. I fucking farted when I left. I told you, I don't feel good. You... No, 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 this wasn't a normal smell. <laughs> this was... This was like hellfire. Yeah, that's what it's been all morning. Dude, I spent an hour in the bathroom this morning. I mean, you did. It didn't smell like roses. It's called the Green Apple Splatters, and I you, drank too much last night, and now it's coming back to haunt me. You really need to go see the nurse. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, my God. That's really actually, you know, I've never been embarrassed about a fart. You didn't <laughs> puke, did you? I almost puked. I almost puked. Why? It was so bad. I'm sorry. I'm a human being, okay? You might need, you might really need to go get that checked out. There's no reason a human should smell like that from it's, the inside. You have no idea. You don't drink like I do. I don't drink at all. It happens. I, I have a feeling that's why the, the flies are here. The flies have been here for months! <sighs> they don't leave! I'm have you sorry. ever read the book The Exorcist? Yeah, actually I have. Just wondering. Demons. The flies? Yeah. You and that spirit board. What if you actually did let a demon in here? How do you hunt demons? With holy water. My uncle's a priest. I can get him to, like, bless anything I want. You have a priest in your family? I have a priest, yes. I own a priest. No, I said in your family. Yes, I do. Call him. He's gonna tell me I'm being crazy. 
<laughs> but I can get him to bless a bunch of holy water for you if you want. That would be great. Alright, I'll get a bunch of bottled water! The demon sending flies. Possible. This thing can't turn on, on its own. There's no way. How was it recording that? Like, and also that doesn't that didn't actually happen. That was clearly a possession. That was like the demon doing that. It wasn't us. We were in class. <sighs> Stop denying weird shit. Just think about this. How did this thing turn on? Oh my god, there's actually something directly behind. 